This section of the class, we're going to talk about a technique of integration called integration by parts. So far, we've talked about integration by substitution. That was a technique we used to kind of transform an integral into a friendlier type of integral. Here, we're going to talk about integration by parts, which is one of the core techniques in integration. Um, and really, it's not that hard once you know what to look for in the problems, but at first, it can kind of seem a little difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right into, into what it is. There's really one formula that you need to know, and as we work problems, you'll see how to use it. So you're, you're not going to be expected to understand this right now. Integration by parts. You have u v minus the integral of v d u. And this is it, fellas. That's all I'm going to put on the board. That's it. That's integration by parts. Now, you're not expected to know what that means or how to use it. That's my job to teach you that. Um, but that is, that is the formula. So what you're going to do, and we're going to just work an example to illustrate how to, how to do it, because integration by parts is, is really, um, can be really tricky to learn unless you just talk about an example. Let's say you had an integral x times e to the 2x dx. When you see a problem like this, your first thought is going to be, let me try to do substitution and see if I can figure it out. Okay, And so I encourage you, pause the video, try to pick a few things to do regular old substitution, and you'll figure out it's not going to work out. The reason it's not going to work out is because, um, well, the way the problem's constructed is, this is an indestructible function, this e to the x. So as you start taking derivatives of things, it's never going to go away. That's one problem. Second problem is, if you try to choose u to be this up here in the top, you take the derivative of it, you're going to get 2, and it's not gonna, you're not going to be able to cancel this x away. So no matter how you choose substitution, you're not going to be able to cancel it enough to get it into a form that you already know how to solve. So some very smart person somewhere a long time ago invented this technique called integration by parts. Okay? The idea is you break this integral up into two different parts, and you cleverly define what those parts are, and then you can use this formula that we're going to talk about in a minute and actually solve it. So just work with me here, and I think, I think you'll, you'll get it. First thing you do is you define a u, just like we do before. I'm going to define u is equal to x. Okay. The next thing you do is you define a dv. I know this doesn't make any sense, but you do it. And um, that's going to be, in this case, equal to either the 2x dx. Now I'm going to pause here, and I'm going to explain to you why we chose that. What you're trying to do is you're trying to write this integral in terms of integral of u times dv. Okay, this is what you're trying to do. I've chosen u to be this part, right? And I've chosen dv to be whatever's left over, including the dx. You see, I wrote the dx here. So every integration by parts, you're going to need to start out by defining a u, what's going to be some portion of it, and then you're going to have to define some dv, which is going to be everything else left over. And what you're trying to do is write this integral into, into this. And, and really, what you're really saying over here is that if you can write an integral in this manner, the answer is uv minus integral of v du. Okay, which is what we wrote here. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to erase this for now, but I just wanted to tell you why we picked u and dv the way we did, um, and, and so on. So I'm not going to explain any more theory. We're just going to go on and work the problem. Once you write your u and your dv, the next thing you need to write is you need to figure out what du is, because notice the answer is going to have the du in it. Just work with me here. du with respect to x is equal to 1. If you just take the derivative of this, you just get 1. So then du is equal to dx. 